How's it going everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the most unsustainable things I used to do. I feel like this is kind of like pet peeves, except these are me doing my own pet peeves. Um, so this is kind of a similar video than we've already done, but um, here's another one. I've seen this kind of trying to go around YouTube. It was a while ago I saw this happen. I thought I would do my own little twist on it, so let's go. So number one, we have going shopping at fast fashion stores. I actually can't believe I wrote that one down because this shirt is from a fast fashion store. Um, I'm not going to call it out or anything, but, and I do like this shirt. I enjoy wearing it. It's summertime. It's like nice and breathable to wear. And I, and I treat my clothes well. So yes, fast fashion is very wear once and throw it away. I, I have worn this shirt probably like for a total of five weeks this summer and the summer's only been like four weeks. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm kidding. I have not worn this shirt every day the whole summer. That'd be weird. It is very unethical and not sustainable to support fast fashion stores. I think, I believe like fast fashion, it's there for a reason. I think it definitely helps out people who can't afford real like high quality clothing, but in the long run, it's just more expensive because you're buying more and more and more stuff because you keep having to throw everything away. I used to go shopping, um, I remember once a year in particular, at the beginning of every summer, I don't know if you can hear my family's talking in the background, <laughs> um, at the beginning of every summer, I used to go to a fast fashion store and buy a bunch of stuff, so I don't do that anymore. I would wear it for that season because it was like the beginning of the summer, I'd wear it for the summer and then I didn't touch it again. So that's the kind of thing, like, yes, there's clothing that trends, and then there's also, like, timing, you know? So I like to wear clothing. Like, this is definitely a shirt I would wear only in the summer. I would wear it to, like, the beach or just for a video or something. If you wear just a regular t-shirt, that can be worn all year round. Speaking of shopping, I didn't consistently use reusable bags, and I'm still, still working on this. I'm sorry, it's really, it's hard, guys. It's hard to remember your reusable bags. But we definitely own like an, an insane supply of reusable bags. We, we've been doing our house decluttering uh, for a while now, like this whole quarantine. And we have found a lot of reusable bags just lying around that we never knew we had. And you keep buying them, you keep buying them thinking, oh yeah, I just need another reusable bag. Oh my God, no, it's like, it's not okay. We half the time just forget them at home and I know a lot of you guys can relate don't tell me you can't if you can relate like give the video a thumbs up or something <laughs> only if you want to though I don't really care um so just a tip please look around your house before buying more bags and think about it think about your purchases think all right this next one might be kind of confusing to some people but it's actually recycling. Recycling is a great thing. I totally believe in it. I totally think it should be done. I don't believe in over recycling or just being okay with something because it's recyclable. Recycling is still waste. It is the last of the three R's, uh, if you're only talking about the three. And the majority of things don't get recycled, unfortunately. But I used to recycle. And I remember in my elementary school, there was this big recycling bin in the cafeteria and uh, every Friday each classroom would bring their small recycling bin into the big one and I don't know I guess they just looked at how full it was and they and there was a sign above the bin that said we have saved this many trees and that sign was totally like my motivation so I would just take papers that totally could have been used totally could have been written on I would take like a whole notebook where only a quarter of the pages were written on and I'd put the whole thing in the recycling bin. That's just something I did. I over recycled. Um, and that's a me thing. I don't think a lot of people like have a sign that says you saved this many trees because you're recycling. Like, but when you're like five years old, you just look at that sign and you're like, okay, I gotta go recycle. All right, number four, we got drank bottled water. I do not believe in bottled water. I think it is the most ridiculous invention there has ever been. I think it is literally making you pay to buy water, which is something here in America we can get for basically free from our refrigerator or sink. The last time I can remember buying bottled water, 
was, I think, last summer. I walked 18 miles with my mom, and so we had to we had to stop for water. You know, and I, I didn't bring a reusable one. I don't think. So, that's just another thing. And I own. I I have now learned that I own a ton of reusable water bottles. Never once used them. I always was like, whatever. It can be recyclable. Why do people care? It's another one of those recycling things. So, number five, we got, I ate a lot of heavily packaged processed foods. And I'm super uh, grateful that I've gotten rid of a lot of those foods out of my diet. I have realized that they don't make me happy and I don't, I don't need them. That also just helps eliminate a ton of the waste packaging waste that they create and also those foods are made from tons of chemicals things that aren't good for our environment i also i used to eat a ton of things in single serving little pouches or baggies i hate the word baggy sorry bags <laughs> um just you know like i would just eat them all right at number six we got i dyed my hair when i was in fifth grade i think i dyed my hair like three two or three, maybe four times. And I only did it a few times with permanent ink. I know in my whole childhood, there were definitely a number of times I used like temporary hair dye for like a soccer tournament or a Halloween costume or something, I don't know. But it's again, like the food thing, um, chemicals are just awful for the environment. Dyeing your hair is bad for the environment. It's just not necessary. It's like, yeah, sometimes it's nice to dye your hair, but like, it, it really wasn't necessary. And if I knew who I am today, I would not have dyed my hair. Just hair dye is bad. Just, you know, it can get into our waterways. It can do this and that bad stuff. Um, we obviously don't want to be eating those chemicals that are in hair dye. They also harm aquatic life. And, you know, just it's something unintentional. And I try to live as much of an intentional life as possible. So by, by harming the aquatic life, intention unintentionally that's just not something i believe in you know and it's not like i would do it t intentionally either definitely not i that's like why i am vegan all right and number seven we got i took baths no no hate on people who take baths i i get it um i like taking baths it's enjoyable however they use a lot of water and i'm sure you all know that i'm sure you can tell when you take a bath like you have to fill up a tub. I've kind of just taken a step back. I've said like, okay, I'll take a bath like maybe once a month at the most. You know, cause it's nice to relax, but it can be kind of like a waste of time or something. Um, right now I know like I have a lot of free time, so I'll take a bath, um, drink some like tea or something. I'm kind of weird, <laughs> but you all can imagine that if you would like to. It's also like when I'm taking a bath, I am not gonna use cold water. When I take a shower, it's short and quick and I, I will use cold water just because it's fun to make myself jump around in the shower like this is it. <laughs> but in the bath, I'm not sitting in a friggin' ice bath. I'm like, I'm gonna sit in steaming hot water that uses a ton of electricity. Number eight, we got, I used a ton of Ziploc bags. This was definitely a problem um, and something I've totally changed. I do not eat foods out of Ziploc bags anymore. I just don't, I just, I don't know why. We have them in my house. My, the rest of my family will use them occasionally. Um, but I have realized we have a lot of Tupperware just lying around that doesn't always get used. So I put that to use if I need to use, if I need to put something in a Ziploc bag, I can put it in a Tupperware just fine. Like, I guess the only thing is with like spacing, it can be more efficient to use a Ziploc because you can airtight it, you know. But really it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like stupid, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. All right, number nine, we got, I used way too many tissues when I was sick. I used to use a lot of tissues when I was sick. I used to use maybe five boxes, and now I use, like, one box. It's still something I'm hoping to improve on, for sure. I would love to go tissue-free. I have not bought any handkerchief things yet, but I'm really hoping to do that in the future. In the meantime, I just have realized, like, I used to, like, just blow my nose, throw tissue away, blow my nose, and now I can, I can kind of wait a few minutes if I'm, like, trying to sleep or something. Like, I, I've learned how to cope a little bit better, but that was something I really had a problem with, was just blowing my nose. The last one is shopping at the dollar store. This one is, it's kind of similar to buying fast fashion. It's buying a lot of cheap stuff that does not last, and I remember every year I used to have birthday parties, and I used to 
get goodie bags that were from the dollar store. Like, like everything was from the dollar store because it meant you could get a lot of stuff in each goodie bag. So I used to do that. I know, like, from my last time I did that, I didn't use half the stuff in there. It went to waste. Some things were useful. I remember I got, like, a planner for school. My birthday's in September. So I got a planner for school, and I used it. It's kind of like... It's really um, not great to shop at the dollar store in my opinion i don't know exactly how they get things and get them so cheaply i assume that it just comes from china and is shipped here in bulk and all that bad stuff but i, I maybe some things were donated maybe i don't know how they do it so if if you have any answers put them in the comments if you want just what i've learned is quality over quantity all the way now that's something i've really learned and i hope you all know that now too but of course you know that because i just told you you're gonna believe me right yeah all right i hope you guys all enjoyed my top 10 lifestyle changes the things i used to do that i no longer do um if you want to see the blog i go into more detail than everything i just said here i kind of like trailed off in a lot of the things sorry if this is a super long video but uh if you want to check it out check it out and hopefully we can see y'all next time and if you feel like it, comment, subscribe, and like, and hit the bell notification, and do all that fun stuff, because you should love me, and I need this to become my career, guys. Oh my god. So, alright, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.